Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Well, a lot of you really enjoyed this new layout that I've been trying with the planets. And uh, don't worry, I will go back to my uh, intuitive readings, but I thought while we're playing with this, this layout, let's ask the planets the truth about the children. Now, why can I use this layout for the children? Well, because the sun is in the middle of this reading. Now, if you've taken my tarot course, you know the sun, S-O-L, is also soul, S-O-L, solar, uh, etc. But that's also S-O-U-L. This is your soul comes from the sun. We come from the sun and we return to the sun. The sun is not a big ball of fire. Uh, it is energy, absolutely. Uh, but this card depicts this that we are born from the sun. Here comes this, this brand new soul from soul. That's a big clue in the arcane and mysteries that we come from the sun and we return to the sun. There is no life on earth without the sun. The sun is also called the life force. So if you're wondering where um, we Do we just float around the universe? No, we return to the sun. And that's why it's called soul family. Uh, whenever we see a big burst coming from the sun, they call them solar flares. That's the birth of a new soul family uh, coming, raining down on earth. And uh, I just wanted to point that out, that because this has the sun or soul in the middle, I want to try and see if the soul, the sun, will tell us the truth about Megan and Harry's children. All right. So let's just try it. Let's just try it. I've never done this before. Asked uh, a reading like this about the children. Remember, we are not reading the children, the energy of the children. Reading, we're reading the energy around the children. And what can the planets tell us? What can the truth of the planets, so the, the time of their birth, um, we'll be looking for, uh, you know, like if, for example, if we get the death card on the sun, that can tell us that soul wasn't born, that baby doesn't exist. Not that the baby died, it's just that baby, there's there's no such person, that soul does not exist, all right? All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead with the reading. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, so you're, you're riding this bus along with me. The, so let's do Archie. So the what can the planets tell us about the baby that was presented to the world as Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor? What can you tell us? What can the planets tell us about the baby that was presented to us as Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor? That's how he was presented to us, and I refuse to call him Prince. All right, cards are ready. Oh, look at that. Five of Wands on the Moon. And I just want to make a little side note here. You don't have to have the big and small cards for this to work. I'm just using the big cards so we can uh, see the... the um, the letter, the words on the bottom, so we can all stay with it because we're all learning this. The on the magician on Mercury is Eight of Cups. On the Empress is Star. We have to cover up the boobies. On the Sun is Three of Cups. Isn't that interesting? On the Tower or Mars is the Magician. On Wheel of Fortune is the Hermit. Well, we all can read into that. And on the world is the wheel of fortune. So let's get to the read underlying queen of wands. Well, I know some of you read Megan as the queen of wands. And uh, uh, because she's the Leo, the fire sign female. I don't like to call her a queen. I don't believe she's a queen. Uh, but there's her archetype. All right, so let's get to the moon, which is our emotions and intuition. Uh, 
The emotions around Archie are a struggle. Five of wands. It's a real struggle around him. Um, people don't believe he's real. There's questions about the pregnancy. There's questions about his uh, um, line in the line of succession. And just remind you, I'm Canadian and uh, the king is the king of Canada. And we are a constitutional monarchy and uh, new Canadians have to pledge allegiance to the king, etc., etc. So I do have the right to have an opinion about this, about the line of succession. I need to know who will, who could possibly be uh, my ruler one day if something tragic were to happen and do they fit in with the rules of the line of succession. So there's a big struggle. There's emotional struggle around Archie. There's no, tr the, it's the truth, right? The high priestess is the secret. That's the moon. There's the truth of Archie is a big struggle. That's super interesting. So for Mercury, for intellect and communication, something is missing. The eight of cups upright is something is missing. So you go to find it. In the communications, something is missing, and we are constantly on a search to find it. Is it the birth certificate? Is it the doctor's notes? Uh, is it his actual birthday? This is absolutely the truth. We are constantly looking for what's missing around this child, and we know something is missing. And so we know we are on this journey to discover the truth about, about this um, child. All right. So now we look at romance and partnerships. Now we know for a fact that there's no romance. He's, he's a child, but we can look at partnerships and on the Empress, we have the star and that's hope and healing. Also, as I've explained many times, the star is my Diana card. And the and if you're new here, and I do have a lot of new watchers, the reason the star is my Diana card is because Diana's birthday is July the 1st. And we have seven small star. We have seven stars here. And the biggest star is the first. So we have July the 1st. Also, the star is the sun. This is actually the sun with this with the stars around. And the, because the sun is a star. So I think with the partnerships here I think that we've got something to do with Diana with art with with Archie and was what I'm, I'm I'm not quite sure what the cards are trying to tell me there hope and healing with the partnerships is this trying to um make Archie a star make the mother a star right because we're on the empress which is the mother um, make Archie a star, make, make, is just to make Megan look like a star. Cause I did her reading and she wants to be a star. She wants to be like in the Hollywood sense, in the Hollywood sense. Um, hmm. Let's, let's finish the reading and see now on the sun, on the soul, the central aspect, we have three people here. It doesn't take three people to get pregnant. It might take three people to carry a baby, though, if there's a um, surrogate to birth this child. Three people in agreement, three people in joy. This is a very interesting card on the birth of this soul. So, yes, this soul is actually on Earth. Yes, there's a big, big joy in this soul, but it took three people to have this baby. Let's look at Mars, conflict and aggression. This is the magician card here. This conflict and aggression that start all around the birth of this child was created. This is a manifestation. This child is a manifestation. Um, the conflict and aggression has been manufactured around this child. And is that because we don't know the truth of this child? Also, the conflict and aggression here with the magician, uh, the creation is the line of succession, the titles, um, the, I want to, I want to point out this next card that shows who gains from this, 
on Jupiter, luck and money? Well, the Hermit card is Harry. And if you look at the Magician card here, um, coming from this one to this one, uh, right? Because it, one one hand here, one hand pointing at this, is Harry's line of succession. Harry can have his 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 prince. Um, or was this here? Was this manifest to um, manufacture conflict and aggression? Is that what Harry's going through right now? This is definitely Harry. This is definitely Harry. And then on the world, the work and the burdens, um, of course, Archie can't work, but the burden of Archie is his wheel of fortune, is his title, is his line of succession. And if you look at the Hermit card, the Hermit card has their back to this, and they're manufacturing this. And the burden also is on Harry to actually produce some of this, some of the things that would make this child legitimate. And Harry's refusing to do any of this. So the burden is the fortunes that this child is entitled to. Is it manufactured? Is the conflict about this child manufactured? Remember, we're not reading about the child. We're reading about the, the, the situation around this child. And when we have the star and the musician, uh, musician, isn't that an interesting faux pas? The magician here, I think this was all to make um, Megan look better. Harry was in on it, but Harry now is... Harry won't, won't ever release the truth of this. He's the hermit right here. He's actually part of the of the conflict over it, of the manufacturing and the manifesting of the conflict of this of this child. Also, the hermit, the hermit and the high priestess. The high priestess. Everyone thinks the magician is the high priestess match. It's not. The high priestess matches the hermit. Um, and that's because the high priestess keeps secret and the hermit keeps secret. Um, the, and it's it's information that you have that you um, you go away in your cave kind of thing and you don't share it unless somebody asks you. The hermit, yes, he's got the light there to share the light, but you have to approach the hermit and you have to ask him. He doesn't necessarily just uh, shove it down your throat. He's like the the sage in the cave, and you actually have to kind of prod it out of him. He's the kind of person like a Yoda. You have to ask the right questions, and uh, then you'll get the answers. And so until people start asking Harry directly the right questions, he will never just give this information up. He's part of manufacturing this. He absolutely knows about it. The hermit's looking at the magician. The hermit's looking at the three people who created this soul. All right, so we have confirmation that Archie is born of three people, and and it, his his burden is his titles, and his line of succession, and his access to the riches that he has be as a born royal. Um, Harry knows that this is all manufactured. Um, he knows there's conflict about it. He knows that they've manif man manifested this, this conflict. He's part of it. And he's not willing to really look at the truth of this matter, of what they're burdening this child with. That will this child be mocked, for example, the rest of his life? Will, you know, as he becomes an adult, just as Harry's been dodged with his paternity, are they, is this child going to be dodged with the same thing for the rest of his life? You know, are you really royal and, you know, proof he's going to read all this when he gets older. This is his burden, is his fortune, is this family that he's been born into. Um, this star card, though, is still bothering me. I think this is actually, uh, I think I got this right because it's on the Empress card. I think this is to make, to elevate Megan, uh, to make her look like, you know, 
the queen mother kind of thing or the you know the queen the king's mother or something like that uh to elevate her on the same level as Catherine same level as Diana um she really thinks that she, you know with the empress here that uh you know she's she's the best mother in in the world and i still maintain that she's going to come out with something to do with you know children's clothes or children's toys or or some such thing some such thing um all right so that's archie so now let's read about lily so we have confirmation there's from the planets I mean, allegedly, for entertainment purposes only, the planet, that's what the planets are telling me. My sources say um, that there was definitely a surrogate. There was definitely three people involved in that pregnancy. And it was all manufactured. And there's a lot of conflict around uh, the information about Archie. A lot of emotional conflict, too. And they've actually given that poor kid a burden that he is going to have for his life. I keep forgetting. I know a lot of people have colored in their cards, and I've asked my cards, and they don't want to be colored in. So that's why I put rocks on them. I'm not approved, so quit putting those comments down there saying, what are you approved? No, it's YouTube. It's YouTube. doesn't like boobies, so we have to cover them up. All right, so let's... Lily. Lil, the child that is born, what can the planets tell us about the child that is born, Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor? What can the, or not born, presented to us as? What can the planets tell us? Ooh, Knight of Pentacles. Well, we got, we got Harry again. What can the child, what can the, what can the planets tell us about the child the baby that is presented as Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor. Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor. Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor. Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor. Cards are ready. Oh. Wow, two of swords on the moon. Four of pentacles on Mercury. The nine of cups on Venus. Strength on the sun. Interesting, Leo on Leo. Queen of cups on Mars. Two of cups on, wheel on Jupiter. And the seven of cups on Saturn. All right. What's the underlying here? The Hierophant. The Hierophant. The royal family. Or the palace, not necessarily the family. All right. The high priestess here is emotions and intuition. So this is the moon. And interesting, we do have a moon on this card. So there are two things about Lilibet Diana that they are stubbornly clinging to, and they refuse to acknowledge. Uh, this card, the Two of Swords is being stubborn. It's knowing that you have to make a decision, um, or at, but you, right, both swords are on in your hands. You have to put down one sword to take your blindfold off. So you have to let go of one of the decisions that you have to make. It's like, it's a choice that you have to make and you're refusing to make the choice. But eventually you have to let go of one of the choices. So it's like, is it chicken or beef? Chicken or beef? And you put down chicken and you have beef for the night or for supper or whatever. I know that's really surface, but you know what I mean. Um, so there actually is an emotional decision that they have to make about Lily and they're refusing to make it. Now, let's see what that, that decision could be. So we go to Mercury, intellect and communication. They have been so, here we have the four of pentacles. They have been so tight-lipped about this kid. The, we don't see pictures of her. 
We don't get any information about her. They are very tight-lipped. And actually, you could almost say they are miserly about the information that they, that they give. They keep everything close to their chest about this child. Um, they keep a lockdown on it. And it might have to do with this decision that they have to make about this child. But this is absolutely the truth. We've had like one birthday picture. We see blurry pictures of her apparently at, par at parades or being cared carried by Harry. Um, but nothing concrete about this child. It's interesting. He said concrete. This this four of pentacles is sitting on concrete. Um, there is definitely a lockdown on information about this child. Definitely, 100%, 100% lockdown. Uh, very, very controlled, very controlled. Now, this is, I find, so interesting, romance and partnerships. Um, of course, there's no romance. This is the partnerships. This is somebody being smug. And you know what, with this Empress card here, this is them being smug about her name. I just about started to cry. Did you hear that in my voice? This is them being smug about Lilibet's name, Lilibet Diana. And we know the Empress was the queen. Um, and I'm just, that's the partnerships there. And they're being smug that they uh, said that they asked the queen there and there they are sitting and there's not a damn thing anybody can do about it. That as soon as I saw that, I thought you smug a holes. Well, I'm gonna have to edit that one out. Um, this is them being smug, and also being smug about the information they have about Lily and about how they're they're really controlling that narrative, how they're really controlling what comes out of out of uh, it, and how how stubborn they're being about it. Extremely stubborn. Extremely stubborn. Now, this is what I find interesting, the central aspect on the soul, and we have the Leo. Now, is all of this being controlled by the Leo, who is Megan? Um, or are we going to hear something about this child in Leo season? I think this is also showing us that Megan is with well, a lion is traditionally the royal family, and also Leo is the traditional royalty uh, sign, and strength is the Leo sign. So, is this telling us that this is Megan controlling the narrative of the royal family, right? Because the strength card is controlling the mouth of the lion, the tongue. So, is this somebody trying to control? the royal family about the birth of this child. Now, I've done readings. There's no one in the royal family that's ever seen that child in life, in real life. Touch that child, kiss that child, hug that child, seen that child, including the queen. So is this Megan controlling the royal family over the information about the birth of this child? Because this child is definitely not a Leo. This child was bo uh, supposedly born in June. Or maybe the cards are telling us that this child is a Leo. And that's why we don't see pictures of her. Because either she's younger or older than what they're saying. So this maybe they're telling us this child is a Leo. Born during Leo season. Now when we get to Mars, conflict and aggression is here we have a female who's e e emotional. Um, now, this Queen of Cups, the conflict and aggression, could it be part of Diana's name? Or could it be something to do with Camilla, right? Those are the two Queen of Cups. Um, I'm wondering, though, if the conflict and aggression is of Diana. I want to show you this, this Queen of Cups, now, if you've taken my course, you know this. She's not holding a cup. She's holding an urn. An urn of, well, it's in that urn. Could it be cremated remains? 
This Queen of Cups isn't really, um, look at the look on her face. Lamenting about the past, and we have it on the tower. So that's why I'm wondering if this is Camilla, wondering that, you know, these children that are given Diana's name, and Camilla could also be really upset about how they talk about her, about how they 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 gave the name a little bit. Um, I'm thinking that this is Camilla, who is, um, I don't want to say creating problems. There's some kind of block here that, though, she's doing. And I did do that reading that, you know, Camilla has given Charles that ultimatum. It's me or Harry. So maybe there's something about a blockage there that um, she's not that happy about things. I don't know what it is, but I'm, I'm really getting a vibe that this is Camilla. I might do a clarifier on that. Uh, under the Wheel of Fortune, Luck and Money, this is the Two of Cups. So obviously, I'm thinking that... Um, There is somebody here who is in agreement with this little child. This luck and money uh, is, I think, this, okay, I'm just going to say it. I think she was exchanged for money. That's what I'm going to say. I think she was exchanged for money. I think she was bought. I think there was an agreement with somebody and, um, and I think that's what the problem is here that Camilla knows a lot. She knows, um, you know, about the pregnancy, about the lack of pregnancy. She knows that the smugness, she knows, she knows more than she's saying or more than, more than she's willing to say. So I'm just going to outright say it. I think this child was bought. I think there was an exchange of money. There was certainly some kind of exchange because it's on luck and money. It's not on the Empress, which could be, well, an adoption or something, but it's on luck and money. And I'm thinking that, I think, I think this child was bought. And now when we look at work and burden, so obviously not work, we've got the seven of cups. There's always going to be a fog of mystery around this child. We're always going to be gaslit about this child. Also, this tells me they may have had their choice of which child they chose. And that's why I think this child was bought. I think this child was bought and paid for. And I think Camilla knows the truth of this. And I think Camilla is the key. And that might be why they're after her. That might be why Harry's after her. Because Camilla knows. Somehow Camilla knows the truth of all this. I think they all know the truth of all of this. But somehow Camilla knows more truth than, than most. And... I think that um I think that's why they're they they lambaste Camilla. I mean there's many reasons why. Um, but I mean you're you know, for Harry, you know, saying, Oh, you know, you were the one who wrecked my parents' marriage or whatever, and you know, that was you know, that was like uh I think that's not fair considering we everything that we know now. Um, I think that the the reason that he went after Camilla in his book and whatnot is because she knows. And I think Harry knows she knows. I think they had their choice of child here with Saturn because that's the burden that this child has is there's always going to be a fog of mystery around this child. I think there's going to be many, many stories come out about this child. Who's your daddy? How were you born? Who's your mommy? Um... Uh, are you supposed to have princess? Are you supposed to be in the line of succession? I think the burden that they're giving both these children are is cruelty. Sorry, it's child abuse. It's child abuse. And I think when we look at this, the two of swords and the seven of cups, I think that they put out a lot of misinformation about um, Lily to to um, confuse the royal family here. 
we may find something out during Leo season about her, or we might see her. Maybe we'll see a picture of her with Megan on Megan's birthday, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, isn't this interesting? The planets are telling us exactly what's going on with this child. This, this Actually, this layout's amazing. Uh, this is going to be my truth-seeking layout from now on. And interesting, the underlying was the palace, the firm. This also could go to the truth of her baptism. Nobody's ever seen any baptism papers. Nobody, you know, we, we heard Tyler Perry stormed out. Um, there's a story after story after story about this child. And it's just, it's all going to be uh, photoshopped. This is also my Photoshop card. Gaslighting, Photoshop. Um, yeah. And I think Camilla is the one who could bring this whole house of cards down. With on top of that tower there. She knows. All right. So what do you think about this? Read? I think this reading is so truthful. This is crazy accurate. All right. Please take good care. See you online. Bye for now. <laughs>